so heavy. <laughs> Hello y'all, welcome back to the Craft Castle. My name is Ashley and boy am I out of breath because this right here is actually really heavy. What just got delivered to my doorstep is the X-Tool S1 and I'm actually really excited to use this. Not only did I get the X-Tool S1, I also got the riser base and the infrared module. Now I'm sure if you've seen my videos before, you are probably asking yourself, why in the world does Ashley Falco need another laser? I can tell you right now, I don't. But I'm on the path to try and figure out what is the best laser. Is there a one size fits all for lasers for a crafter or do we really need a bunch of different lasers? Now I do have to say, I love my P2. My P2, that girl right there, she is the creme de la creme. I love her so much that I actually sold my Glowforge because I wasn't using it anymore. This one right here is so much better. Now I do have to say, my cute little F1 is like my next favorite one. This thing is so stinking cool because it has an infrared module and you can engrave all types of metals like gold. Just like my gold necklace that I did in a previous video, you can do that with this little thing. So that little F1 that I just showed you, what that laser is, is an infrared and diode laser. And the S1 is a diode laser. And then you can get this right here, which is the infrared head module. So it's essentially the larger version of that small little laser. So potentially, I could probably get rid of the F1 because now I have the S1. What do you think? Do you think that this big old thing is gonna be just as amazing as that little guy? I have to say that little guy, I love it because it's so stinking quick. I wonder if this right here is gonna be as quick as that. I am gonna unbox it and I'm gonna test it out and I'm gonna see, is this one right here going to replace my little F1 or is this one right here going to be my more favorite one between this and the P2? I don't know. Let's go on the journey together. I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put this thing just yet. It's a little big. So I'm just gonna roll in my table and I think that this will fit onto the table. And because it has roller, rollers, I can roll it to my window and we can exhaust out of it. Now, please know if you don't have a laser that all laser machines have to be vented out of some sort. So for my P2, I actually have an external fan that has an air filter. So technically I don't have to open my window and vent out of my window. That being said, there is a cost associated with the external fan. That fan has a filter. That filter does fill up. If you fill up that filter, you'll know because your entire room will start filling up with smoke. Ask me how I know. But I like it because I don't have to have my window open venting out and I also don't have to have like a ugly tube sticking out. So for this one, I did not get the external fan for it. So I'm gonna have to put this out the window and we'll see. Now, the greatest thing about owning the X tools is, is if you choose this brand, a lot of the accessories that you get if you have another laser all work together. So like the external fan that I was just talking to you about, the P2, I actually can plug it in to the S1 and use that. The other thing that's great too is like, I already have the rotary accessory tool for my X tool. I can use this on this machine, my P2, I also can use this on my F1, and even if you had the M1, this accessory works for all the machines. So it's the beauty of, if you're trying to own multiple lasers, that sticking to a brand like X-Tool for every single laser will make it a little bit cheaper in the long run if you plan on owning multiple, just because you're not gonna have to rebuy some accessories. So first things first, and this is where it's not gonna get fun for anyone, is that I have to start opening boxes and I need to assemble the riser base. The reason why I got the riser base is because I want the ability to engrave on tumblers or larger items that would not necessarily fit into the laser bed, the original laser bed. You don't need the riser base if you don't plan on doing really large items. You didn't get it in your original purchase and then you decided, you know what, I want that riser base. You can order the riser base at a separate time. That is perfectly fine. I also have seen other people just opt out from getting the riser base and just stick their laser 
on some blocks and it's gonna be an open air type of situation at that point, but people do get creative and just skip the, the riser base altogether. So that's definitely an option. You don't have to buy the riser base. You know what I just discovered while opening this up is that I actually could use my conveyor feeder for my P2s. So this machine actually has the ability to do really long materials just like my P2. So that's really cool. <laughs> Yay! Safety first. Holy cow, do I look good in these? Riser base came with this. Do I look stylish? It's the little things, y'all. So I have, I have a riser base legs and I like the fact that they are labeled left and right. I do have to say when I got the P2, my husband actually assembled the riser base for the P2 and it did not have left and right on there. And he most definitely assembled it wrong the first time. So I like that they actually labeled them now. Got some tape. I don't know what that's for. Ooh. Oh, and we got back. Okay. And then a front. And that'd be it. It doesn't seem too complicated. The one that's over here, the riser base that's over here was way more complicated. There was a lot more pieces to it. This one doesn't have that many pieces. So I think I can do it myself. Okay. One, two, three, lift with your knees. Oh. All right, cool. Not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. I, I do like the straps that came with it. That's pretty cool. Ooh, the honeycomb tray is nice. I like that it's, the honeycomb tray is, you can see through it. There's no bottom part to that. That will help with airflow when you're cutting materials so you have less flashback. The other thing I love is that every single X tool comes with a bunch of starter material. This has acrylic, wood, leather, poster, and metal. I love that they give you a good, decent pack of starter material so you're not wasting your own blanks because they give you some, some good blanks. This has a cute little air assist thing. I love this little guy. So the particular diode laser that I got is a 40 watt laser head, which is definitely a lot faster than what the F1 or even the M1 comes with. So I, I am interested to see because a 40 watt laser, the P2 is a 55. Is there a huge difference between the two? I'm not entirely sure. So it's gonna be nice to know what the speed difference is between the two machines. You good? I'm good. Now I just need to put this on here. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like that. Whoa. I just pinched my finger. How do we know if we're on? Hmm? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. We good, you know. We good. We good. So this laser is actually not as heavy as I thought it would be. It's definitely significantly lighter than the P2. I am, I think I am going to keep it on my rolling cart because I can just roll it away and then when I need to use it, I can pull it out and put it into my window and it won't have any issues. Uh, the riser base is really nice. It just closes. And if you wanted to do long materials with a conveyor feeder, you would just open both of these through and you'd be able to do the larger, uh, like a conveyor feeder, or if you wanted to do like a big tumbler or something like that, you totally can do that too. Now, the one thing that I do like about keeping it on this is that I'm not gonna have to use a different table in order to do like the conveyor feeder if I actually wanted to because I would just be able to like pull this leg out, set up the conveyor feeder, and it would all just be on one table versus having to get two additional tables like I would for my P2. So this is definitely, I like that it's more of a compact size versus the P2. I do have quite a bit of setup to go though because we're, I haven't even installed the head yet. This was seriously just installing the riser base. So the assembly of this was actually really easy. It was just a lot of screws that you had to take out. I did hook up the air assist fan on the very back of this machine, but otherwise that, we're ready to head over to the computer and set this puppy up. So here's what the interface looks like for Xtool, and this is a free design program. Even if you did not own an Xtool, you could still download this. When we use the Xtool for the very first time, you wanna make sure that your computer is plugged into your Xtool so it hooks up via Wi-Fi. Then what you want to do is turn on your laser. I'm gonna press allow on my computer and I'm gonna go over to new project. Now I want to connect over to my S1. So I'm gonna come up here to the P2 button and press the carrot. 
and I'm gonna to go to connect device. It's gonna search for the USB of the S1, so I'm just gonna click it, and we're gonna press switch. Now, because this is the very first time that I'm using this machine, there's probably going to be an update, so I'm just gonna press update. Now that it's done, you just wanna press confirm. Now, technically the S1 is ready to be used. However, if you wanted to change this machine over to Wi-Fi use, you would just come over here into settings and we'd scroll down until you get to this right here where it says Wi-Fi settings not configured, you would go to setting. It's gonna search for any available Wi-Fi. You wanna make sure and put in your password and then just press next. Now, as long as your passwords or internet don't change, you're never gonna have to do this step again. And now, because we are configured with Wi-Fi, you can go ahead and unplug your S1 from your computer. You will get that loud, annoying beep, that's okay, because what you're gonna do is come back up here into S1, and we're going to go over here to connect device. We are gonna go over into Wi-Fi. You're gonna find your S1, and it's going to be connected now, so then you don't ever actually have to have your computer plugged in. Now that really obnoxious noise that you just heard, you can actually turn that off. All you would need to do is go into settings and you would come down here to working info and you would scroll all the way down where it says buzzer reminders and we can turn that off, all right? Then all we want to do is just press the X button. Now this is what is going to be a working canvas for our X tool. So now our X tool is ready to be played with. You know, the one thing that I did see when I first loaded into X tool, so I'm gonna come over here to this house button and scroll down. I saw these really cute shoe tying things. I thought they were actually really cool. So I'm just gonna open this up in XCS. The very first thing I'm gonna try today is I'm gonna cut and engrave this right here. You think it's gonna work? I'm gonna insert my piece of wood into my X tool bed right here. Hmm, okay. Start marking processing area. So let's press start marking. Uh, select an area. Rectangle, sure. Start marking. Mark the two points on different ones. Okay, so we're gonna move this head. Oh, this is really cool. Do you see this like little laser? Okay, so I'm gonna put that little dial because yeah. you're gonna see it like this, right? And it's, uh, and it says on the screen, it says we want to put the X marks the spot in the top left corner of our material. Okay, so when I have that top left, I'm going to press my button right here. So on my computer, it says that it got the first one. So let me move this down to the bottom left, just like that. And we'll press the button again. Awesome. So on my computer, it says that I have marked the, my two marks. So let's just pre press end marking and then press done. Okay, so this rectangle that's right there is actually where my material is at. So I need to put this right here onto my rectangle. So that's actually really cool. This is a little bit more in depth than actually having relying on a camera. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a set focus on my material. Now I have it focused onto my material. So I'm just gonna press confirm. Now I have some Xtool material inside my bed. So I'm just gonna use Xtool material settings. I'm not gonna do anything more with that. Um, I'm just gonna press process. And I'm really confused on why this does not look like this, but um, we're gonna go for it and we're just gonna press process <laughs> and we'll see what ends up happening. I'm not entirely sure why it's off like that. That's very interesting. I've never seen that before. Okay, now this says that it's the estimated time is 30 minutes. So let's just press start. And obviously our lid is still open, so it says that we can't do it until we close the lid. So we are gonna close the lid and then we're gonna press confirm and then press okay. Okay, and then we're finally back to here, so we'll just press start. All right, now we just wanna press this button right here. You do wanna make sure that you're venting out of a window if you're gonna be doing this. I'm just gonna press this. It is very, very quiet. This machine is extremely quiet. 
hands down extremely quiet. I'm, I'm really impressed. So we're gonna just let this go. Hopefully everything look, you know, cuts all right. I, it looks like it's not going to be, but who knows? So what I'm gonna do is actually turn on my P2 just so we can get kind of like a resemblance of what this would be. So this right here is gonna take about 30 minutes to do. So I'm just gonna minimize this and I'm gonna copy this design and I'm gonna paste it over into a new window for the X tool, just like this. I'm not gonna change anything. However, what I am going to do is come over here to S tool and I'm going to connect to my P2 and I'm just gonna press switch. Now it says I'm connected to my P2. So we're just gonna act like we're, at, we're gonna be doing the same thing just so we can get a time, like how much time difference between the two are we gonna notice for this project? So I am going to go into user defined materials and I'm gonna change it over to the same exact material that we're using for the, P, for the S1. The S1 was three millimeter basswood plywood. Over here, we're gonna do the same thing. Three millimeter basswood plywood. We are going to do a set focus onto here. Now, when it comes to the material, we are going to use X Tools material settings that they gave us. I'm just gonna place this right here. Now it's gonna look funny because t our file is technically not going to cut and engrave correctly. However, that is okay for me because all I'm gonna do is check the time. So we're gonna go over here to process. Interesting how the cut and engrave are all on the same, like all together. So I think we are not gonna get a very good cut and engrave with our S S1 as it's going. But regardless the case, the same exact file for all settings and everything like that, this one says it's going to take 27 minutes. So from a time perspective, the S1 only is taking three minutes longer than the P2 but it's significantly quieter. This is way quieter than the P2. Okay, so I'm just gonna back out of that because I really don't wanna do this on the P2. And I'm gonna turn my P2 off. Now we're just gonna wait for our shoes to get done on our S1 and hopefully we get something good that comes out of it. But again, I'm not entirely sure because our start screen looked so funny. Now the S1 is done engraving. And remember what I said about, I didn't think that it was actually going to work because the engraving and cut file on my computer screen wasn't lining up. It's actually cutting just fine. So that, that I'm pleasantly surprised on this. And I am still very much impressed with how quiet this machine is. It's so quiet. And the smell that's coming off the laser, there's actually no... It's actually virtually no smell, which is amazing. The other thing that I want to know is that there, because I have the air assist fan connected to this, it's drawing out all the smoke away from the laser. And so there looks to be like no flashback or charring on my wood and my wood is unmasked. So we're going to see when it's done what it looks like. But right now, before it's even finished, I'm actually, I'm really impressed. Oh, I don't know why it's doing it again. Did you see that it's starting to go? Okay, so you know what? I, I'm gonna call it good. This, this was fine. I don't know why it's giving me a duplicate, but that's okay. So we just stopped the cut. We're gonna open this up and we're gonna move this. We're just gonna move this out of the way. Oh, you know what? Take the sticker off too. Okay, now let's see what this ends up looking like. So there is no charring on the back of this. I wonder if that has anything to do with the air assist, but then also because the honeycomb tray doesn't have a bottom on it. So we have like a lot of good airflow, but then look at this. So no masking. Generally you have to mask your wood because otherwise that you'll have charring everywhere, but there's no charring here. And then on the back, there's almost virtually nothing on the flashback, which is amazing. I, I'm really impressed with this. Today ended up being a messy bun craft day because man, was this so much fun. I do have to say, for the very first cut and engrave straight up out of the box, I am impressed, beyond impressed. I did have the M1, the M1 was a diode laser. I thought it was slow and didn't do well, but this one right here is fast and it's so quiet and it's so easy to use. It is so, I, I'm just, I'm just in love.
out of the like first cut out of the gate, I am I'm I'm actually in love. That being said, the one thing that I do love most about this is that I do have the ability to switch out the head to a different head, the infrared head, so I can do the jewelry blanks. I honestly think that I'm gonna weed out my F1 because of this right here. This right here, I, I'm just I'm I'm just impressed. I, I really am. I really am so impressed. You're gonna need to check back with me over time as I do more comparison videos between the two, the P2 and the S1, because I have a feeling that I'm gonna be doing a lot of comparison videos because this little thing is actually mighty. It's a mighty, it's a mighty little machine that is so quiet, zero charring, is so fast, uh, I just, I, I'm, I'm just blown away, y'all. Really am. Now, friends, if you have any questions about the S1, the P2, or any other laser, or any type of question about owning a laser, make sure and put them in the comments of this video because I want to answer all of your need-to-know questions about owning a laser. I hope I inspired you to create, and I'll see you later.